Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. I'm here in City West Hotel with Josh Jersey from the Ireland Under 17s. Josh, how's things? How are you feeling? Feeling good. Feeling, feeling good. good yeah. uh, we're just doing a little bit of a background profile on the, on the players that we're interviewing because obviously not a lot of players know the players because they haven't been seen um, or done much uh, media work or anything like that. So just tell us a little bit about <coughs> yourself, where you're from, um, what club you, you came through at. Um, so I'm from Lucan here in, uh, in Dublin. Um, Started off uh, Esker Celtic from a very young age, then around eight or nine years old, moved on to Leeds of United. Uh, stayed there for a couple of years, then now I'm at Norwich City. Um, okay, there seems to be a few. Is there at Norwich now? Is there? Yeah, there's um, me, there's Andrew, and there's obviously Adam Ida from the older uh, group. So, yeah, there's, there's a good few Irish players there. That, is that something that's kind of helped you, I suppose, settle in over there? Because you used to be together a lot, I suppose. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say especially for me and Andrew, because we played for the same team um, here at home in League Slip and uh, moving over in the same, same, staying in the same house. And yeah, that, that really helped both of us to kind of settle in and um, use each other to, again, to settle in. Like, so. Yeah. Um, how, how has your season been? Uh, it's been? It's been up and down, really. Um, uh, this is your first. Is this your first year? Yeah, Nor this is my first year, okay. se season in Norwich. Yeah, um, we didn't really do well that well in the league. But I mean, it's just it's not really about where you come. I guess it's just at this stage, it's just more about development, really. So um, yeah, it's it's been it's been uh, really exciting, and um, yeah, I've loved every minute of it. Yeah, well, you're obviously doing something right. If you're getting into the Ireland squad, yeah. um, but how, how's the tournament been itself? Obviously, we had the first game in Tala. Um, how did you how did you find the reception from that game? Um, unbelievable! Of, of the support, we always thank the support to everyone that comes, and it's it's been great yeah, through both games just there. And I'm sure it's going to be the same uh, tomorrow night. So, um, yeah, the support has been great. Yeah, what, what's what's been the overall kind of thoughts in the camp? Is feeling quite optimistic now against the game against Belgium? Yeah, I mean, it's just. Um, we're just all looking forward to it, and we know that every this last game is it's going to decide it. So uh, we're just going to go into it with a positive mindset and see how it goes, and just have just believe in ourselves really, and just have the confidence because anything can happen. Here. Yeah, we were just saying to, to some of the players there that were talking to before yourself there, like it's not very often you know Ireland get to host a so, um, tournament like this, so it's more of a case of just regardless of the result, go out and go out and embrace it. Yeah. Yeah, no, the coaches, even they, they said that, like, it's just, don't mind what anyone says, just no one's expecting anything of you, just go out there, do your best and just perform to your max and um, that's what we've done for the first two games and that's what we're going to do tomorrow night as well. Yeah, do you know anything about this Belgium side? Or um, we've, games? we've played them before early in the year in February uh, in, in a friendly, um, but at the moment we don't, we don't know, maybe they change their squad, so um, yeah, we'll be doing their homework on them tonight and tomorrow, so leading up to the game, so. Absolutely, well we'll be there to support you tomorrow, so best of luck and uh, hopefully get the three points and continue on to the later rounds of the of the competition. Cheers, right. thank, thank you very much. much Josh, right. I'm here with Charlie McCann, um, from the Ireland under 17s. Charlie, um, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, who you're playing for and kind of where you came through? Um, well, I grew up in Coventry in England and uh, played there till I was 15 and then Man United signed me last year. And last January I think and then since then I, I had finished my school last year and like come up now and then with Man United and since the start of the season in July I've been living in Manchester full time. What's, what's that been like? Was it a huge you know change of culture or whatever? It's just a, I'd say it's a more it's just a higher level of football and a higher level of everything so it just improves as a player and as a person, especially at Man United, I feel like it's a, a better, better, one of the better clubs to be at for that, improving you as a person and as a player. Yeah, definitely. Look, at an Irish player coming through there at the moment, Leo Connor. Mm, you know, he's yeah. been called up to the first team squad at Ireland level as well as that. Um, you know, he's been captain throughout there. Is he someone kind of you'd look up to kind of emulate now? Mm, yeah, because well, he's. He's doing well at the minute at United and like getting in and around the first team, so it's always an incentive at United to be pushing because you can always get somewhere. Yeah, obviously Man United you know, is a huge club, one of the biggest mm. in, in in the world. Um, do you ever have any people like Sir Alex Ferguson come in and, and have a chat with you or anything like that, or, or mm. Ole himself? Yeah, if you see the manager around, he'll he'll come and shake your hand and stuff. It's it's not 
uh, he's, it's a welcoming club and everyone's uh, it's like a family there. Yeah. Everyone's there for each other kind of thing. Yeah. Talk to us about the under-17 tournament, uh, firstly the game in Tallis Stadium. What was that like to be in front of such a packed out crowd at Tallis Stadium? Yeah. Uh, full, of, full of Irish fans cheering yeah, on. It's a good feeling. It, it pushes you on because uh, towards the end of the game you might be getting tired and then if you get like the ball and you're going forward and the crowd's pushing you on, you just get that extra yard and you can just push forward even more. And it, just, it definitely does help and give you an edge. And just, we was unlucky, I think, to not win that game, but hopefully come Yeah, win. decisions didn't go our way. <laughs> yeah. you, you don't need to say it, I'll say it for you. Um, but yeah, uh, but still, you know, we're still unbeaten. We're going to the second game, that's one all. We get the late equaliser. Mm, yeah. Firstly, in my opinion, never should have got a second yellow, but that's a case for a different day. But we focus primarily now on Belgium. Mm, yeah. Uh, what's the what's been the kind of overall dressing room vibe ahead of that? Well, we're, everyone's still in good spirits, and we all believe that we can do it. We just gotta go out there and give it our all. Hopefully, there's a good crowd there, which makes it even better for us if we win. Yeah. Do you know a lot about this Belgium team? Well, we've started to look at them. We'll be looking at them throughout the day and tomorrow, preparing for them and seeing where we can hurt them. Yeah, no, absolutely. And uh, obviously the, the goal will be to win and then progress into the, the, the later rounds of the, of the mm. competition, yeah. which would be fantastic considering we are the host nation. But uh, best of luck tomorrow. Let's uh, hopefully get the three points. And yeah, uh, yeah. cheers, Chad. Anyway, cheers, top man. Thank you. All right, best of luck. Here in City West with Nunner Sean McAvoy from the Republic of Ireland under 17s team. Sean, we did a little bit of a background check with, uh, or background profile rather, with uh, some players the last day. So I'm just going to do a little bit about yourself, where you're from, yeah. what club you're playing at at the moment. Um, I'm from Cavan and uh, I'm playing at Ballon Mallard in Fermanagh in the Irish League. Okay. Um, obviously, Ireland have played two games. Um, how have you adapted? Um, how have you found the, the terms? I know results haven't gone our way, refereeing decisions probably haven't gone our way as well. But what's the overall mood in the camp, you know, with Belgium on Thursday? Yeah, I know it was just unfortunately that they equalised in the first game and I thought we fought very well in the second game to get an equaliser and everyone's just ready to go to get try and get a result against Belgium to try and go through. Yeah, how, how, have, you, how have you found, you know, having so many crowds, especially like you know, Tala, pretty much packed out, then yeah. you're in RC, I'm sure there was a pretty packed out crowd there as well. What's yeah. that, how, how nice is that being the whole country pretty much are getting behind you? Yeah, it's just, it's an extra man on the pitch, really, a tough man. Everyone cheering you on, it's just pride and honour for you and your family playing for Ireland, and it's just brilliant. Yeah, what's, what's Colin been saying to you about this game now, tomorrow evening? Has he been getting his right, right up for it? Or? Yeah, just everyone's ready to go, like, just try and go and try and get a result against Belgium. Just play our hearts out. Absolutely. Um, well, that's it for me. Best of luck tomorrow night. Cheers and, and uh, much. Come on, you boys in green. <laughs>